When the hurt goes deeper than the deepest place your heart has ever known. When you're standing in your darkest trial and it seems you're standing all alone. When the tears fall down like bitter rain and you're wondering if the sun will shine again. In the midst of disappointment, look around, you'll find a faithful friend. He's walked through my darkest valleys, shining light. picked me up and held me when I thought I could not face another day. And when my heart has stopped its singing and my mind was simply searching for an end, I can tell you by experience I found a faithful friend. Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than any brother ever can. When the ones that you have trusted prove untrue, on him you can depend. He will never fail or let you down, and his love will help your broken heart to mend. So pick up the broken pieces and turn around, you'll find a faithful friend. valleys shining light upon the lily by the way he has picked me up and held me when I thought I could not face another day and when my heart has stopped its singing and my mind was simply searching for an end can tell you by experience I've found a faithful friend Oh I can tell you by experience I've found a faithful All right, church family, good to have you along for prayer time on Saturday night. Appreciate those already texting me to let me know they're here with us and praying tonight. We'll start acknowledging some of those in just a moment. We'll give folks time to join in. We have the Godfrey's with us and Miss Judy Padgett as well as the Rogers. The Gladwells, the Jones, the Swangers, as well as the Watts, along with us this evening. And as always, I know I have several that don't text but are watching as well tonight. Appreciate them being along with us for prayer this evening. All right, Brother Jim and Miss Irene Beck was here. Miss 
share some prayer requests here in just a moment. It's good to have the Adams with us, Brother Chuck and Miss Rachel. Prayer request there. I'll share that in just a moment, Brother Chuck. All right. If you have a request and you want to share it with me, please feel free to, to do that. The Barnetts are here. Just giving folks a few minutes to join with us tonight. Missing Brother Nathan tonight. Always Brother Nathan Rogers. Always a, is a blessing to have them along with us to play some piano music in the background. Just a couple of more minutes. Bear with me. We'll give folks just a couple of more minutes to join with us tonight. All right, there's there's the Davises here, Miss Gigi and Pete, and uh, Abigail. All right, there may be a few others that join with us here in a moment, but let me go ahead and thank the Lord for the good week the Lord gave us, Vacation Bible School, good week, thankful for the opportunity to minister to not only our kids here in the church, our little ones, the Bible schools geared mainly toward the younger ones, the um, four, five years old, up to about 12 years old. And uh, we had a great number all week of our kids, as well as uh, outside uh, from the community. We filled the van up each night, had about uh, 12, sometimes 15 on the van, max for capacity. So uh, we averaged around 50 or 60 kids this week, each night. And of course, um, 25 workers or so as well. So a good number in Bible school all week, and uh, we looked at the life of the Apostle Paul, and uh, just had a tremendous week at Bible school, so thank you for those who prayed, and uh, those who helped with Bible school, good to have Brother Donnie and Miss Vivian join in with us for prayer too, 
Um, as we go ahead and start sharing requests tonight, um, several to mention to you. Um, those of our church family, um, you know, Mr. Philip, um, and I hope that I'm pronouncing his last name right, Fla uh, it's either Flower or Flogger, F-L-A-U-G-E-R, G-H-E-R. Uh, his son passed away this week, and that funeral service was on yesterday. We want to pray for uh, Philip and, and his wife tonight, God would continue to give them grace and, and strength uh, in uh, these days to come. Uh, they um, certainly need our prayers, church family, and and uh, Philip has uh, been, he and his wife, been visiting the church for quite some time. He and his wife, Miss Kathy, and the precious folks, but again, uh, their son, uh, Nathan, passed away on uh, on Tuesday. And uh, their funeral services were on yesterday, so let's please pray for that family. God would give them grace and strength in the days to come. And then also, as we pray tonight, some of you may have heard as well about Brother Ray and Sister Dawn. They were involved in a uh, very bad automobile wreck, uh, and uh, someone uh, came flying behind them and rear end of them actually on the highway. They weren't stopped. Um, they pulled off onto the interstate and um, uh, were going down the road, uh, you know, going 70, 65, 70 miles an hour. And next thing they know, they're, you know, they're hit from behind. And the uh, individual uh, that hit them uh, was driving under the influence. Uh, so uh, he is okay. I actually had to be taken to jail. I, if, if I'm understanding Brother Ray right, uh, thankfully Brother Ray is okay, just very sore. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, they feel like maybe has a concussion, but uh, but other than that, is okay. Timothy's okay, sore as well. And then Miss Dawn um, had to be checked out at the hospital. Uh, was in a good bit of pain. But uh, everything is checked out okay so far uh, on the test. So if you would pray for Brother Ray and Miss Dawn and uh, Jay and Timothy, of course, they are out in uh, Idaho. They have uh, been traveling out west, and they're actually in Idaho. So please pray for them. Uh, of course, the car situation as well. Again, they're going to be very sore the next several days. So pray for them, the Godfrey's tonight as well, Lord, so give them wisdom uh, navigating through the uh, insurance and all of these things that will be coming up too. So just uh, pray for the Godfrey's tonight. And then um, uh, Brother Chuck and Miss Rachel ask if we pray for their granddaughter, uh, Season. I think I'm, I guess that's right, Brother Chuck. And uh, she's expecting. Uh, so also pray for salvation there. Also continue to remember uh, Miss Rachel's brother there for salvation. Uh, let's see. Um, let's um, pray for uh, Miss Judy's with us. Let's pray for uh, Deanna as well as uh, for uh, for Shyla and her two granddaughters. Just a special request there. Uh, good to have Miss Frazier with us. Let's please pray for Miss Frazier as well as uh, her son Kenneth and uh, his wife Nicole. Thankfully, Miss Frazier's uh, at home. And then also the Watts, uh, they traveled up to be with Joshua. He uh, did make it in safe. We're thankful for that about 2 o'clock this morning. And if you would please remember Joshua. Thank God that He's home safe and sound. And Brother Dan wanted uh, me to let the church family know uh, that they so, so are grateful uh, for the church's prayers, their care for, for Joshua. Uh, let's pray for them tonight. And then I believe also uh, the McCalls are traveling as well as Brother Billy and Miss Doris. I know um, uh, we're traveling a little bit over the next couple of weeks or so. 
Let's continue to remember the Bower's son there, Philip, who's uh, recovering from his surgery. Uh, also, uh, the rest of our shut-ins tonight. Let's continue to pray for those, Brother Rick and Miss Jenny Moody, Miss Mary Phillip, uh, Brother Claude and Miss Bobby Joe uh, Belcher, Miss Colleen Selby, Brother Bobby and Miss Betty McCarson. Remember their son Conrad as well. Let's continue to remember Miss Alexander with her back issue. Of course, we want to remember the services tomorrow. Pray for the Sunday school hour, then the choir and the worship hour. Pray that the Lord would move in our hearts on tomorrow. We certainly need the Lord. And oh, how we need Him tomorrow. And let's, let's pray that God would meet with us and that we would meet with Him. That we would worship Him tomorrow. Uh, good to have the Widdens with us as well from Georgia. The Widdens are traveling as well, so I have several that are traveling tomorrow. Pray for traveling mercies for these that will be out of town. Then Miss Gigi and Pete and Abigail, they have some unspoken requests. Let's see. I think I've gotten all the requests that were shared with me. I don't want to skip over any. Of course, just remember our missionaries tonight as they labor uh, in their fields. Those are traveling on deputation. Again, I mentioned the Godfreys uh, with their car wreck and um, now uh, recuperating from that and then uh, also the need of a, another vehicle and all that's entailed there. Of course, let's continue to remember Brother Robbie Center as well, Miss Michelle and uh, Jacob and Star, especially Brother Robert tonight. All right. I believe that's all the requests that were given to me. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go before the Lord in prayer tonight, take these petitions to the Lord, and seek His face together tonight as a church family, and I trust that you'll... Pray along with me this evening there in your home uh, as we seek the Lord tonight. And oh, how we need Him. Oh, how we need a burden in these days. Uh, I heard something, uh, heard something the other day and it resonated with my heart. Uh, individual said, you know, if we're not careful, uh, we'll be more burdened about gas prices than we are the souls of men and the conditions of our homes and our churches, and well, that's the truth. Sometimes it's very easy. We've been going through Ecclesiastes, of course, on Wednesdays, and sometimes it, we get we get that Solomon mentality. We, we sort of uh, look at the temporal, look at all that's before us now. Of course, uh, no one denies uh, the, uh, the economic situation sometimes that our nation's in, uh, but... Uh, God help us not to be more concerned over those things than we are the spiritual things and things that are eternal. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's ask God to give us a burden tonight. Uh, Brother Shad Randolph asked if we'd remember Miss Chris. She has been struggling a little bit with the cold, so let's remember Miss Chris tonight. All right, let's go before the Lord in prayer uh, this evening and uh, seek His face. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the privilege of prayer tonight. Thank you for your precious blood. We know, Father, that there's no way that we could be able to come before the Holy of Holies without the precious blood of Christ that's been applied. We thank you that the forerunner for us has entered that within the veil. You've made the way. You've blazed the, you've blazed the trail. Lord, you've opened up that new and living way. Lord, and you've given us access. You invite us to come in boldly with confidence and assurance. Lord, not in ourselves, but in the name of Christ, through the precious blood of Christ, the Holy Spirit being our interceder, the Lord Jesus being our advocate. Thank you, Lord, for being our mediator. Thank you for being our advocate. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our shield and our glory and the lifter of our head. Thank you for being the lover of our souls. Thank you for being our friend, the friend that seeketh closer than any brother. Thank you, Father, for the privilege of prayer tonight. We can gather together with our church family, how precious these days and times are. We 
thank you, Father, that we're part of a congregation that believes in the power of prayer. Thank you for the means that's made available to us that we can do this via live stream, to pray together, uh, even though we're separated uh, tonight by miles and uh, by uh, geographical locations. We thank you, Lord, uh, that uh, that is no barrier to you. Father, you're omnipresent. We thank you for that precious reality tonight. We love you and we glorify you and magnify you. Thank you, Father, for being so good to us. Thank you for being so merciful. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your precious word. Thank you for the church, the body of Christ. Thank you, Father, for this local assembly. Oh, Lord, I pray for our church family tonight that you would protect each one, that you would fill each one with the knowledge of your will, God, that they would be strengthened by your might in their inner man. Father, that we would be rooted and grounded in love. As Paul prayed for the Ephesian believers, I pray, God, that you would dwell in our hearts, O oh God. Father, that our, that our uh, this temple of our body, Lord, would be a place that you would be comfortable, that you would be made to feel at home, as that word dwell means as you commune with Abraham in the, the tent door in the heat of the day, I pray, O oh God, that you would commune with us tonight. O oh God, help us to never be like Lot. Father, help us not to be in love with this world. To set our affections on things above, not on things of the earth. Thank you for the good week that you give to us, gave to us, Lord. Thank you for our health and strength. Lord, as we look back, we thank you for your provisions. Thank you, Lord, for even those things that so oftentimes we take for granted, those little things, even way above and beyond, Lord, what we deserve. We thank you tonight for being so very good to us. Thank you, oh God, we love you. Father, we pray tonight again for our church family. I pray for each one, Brother Chuck and Miss Rachel tonight. I pray for their granddaughter that's expecting I pray also, Lord, for her spiritual condition. I pray for Miss Rachel's brother, God, that needs to be born again. I pray for Brother Chuck's sister, oh God, that struggles with dementia, or with Parkins, rather. I pray, God, that you'd touch her. God, give grace there. I pray for Brother Harold and Miss Diane tonight. Brother Mark and Miss Cheryl, Lord, I pray for, uh, for Miranda and for Cassie and Brandon and Lord for... Lyle and Miranda, I pray, Father, for Michaela. I pray, Father, also for Miss Alexander's back. God, that you'd give a relief there. I pray, Father, for Brother Tyler and Miss Bethany and Samuel tonight. Brother Jean and Miss Shirley Airwood. I pray, Father, for Brother Mark and Miss Shawnee. I pray for Anna and Rachel. I pray for Nathan. Again, that the Spirit of the Lord would deal with his heart tonight. Lord, I pray for... Brother Homer and Miss Hester. I pray, Father, for Brother uh, Brother Nathan and Miss Belinda, for Caroline and Colton. I pray for Clayton. I pray also for Brother Nathan's mom, oh God, that you would encourage her tonight, Mrs. Barnett. I pray, Father, also for, uh, for David and Regine Bailey. I pray for Brother Jim and Miss Irene. God, I pray that you'd encourage Brother Jim, you'd strengthen him tonight, Miss Irene. I pray for Brother Claude and Miss Bobby, Joe Belcher this evening, that you'd encourage and strengthen them. Thank you for allowing them to be in your house on yesterday or on last week. Lord, what a blessing it was to, Lord, to be able to worship the Lord with them. I pray, God, that you'd continue to give them a measure of strength pray for Brother David and Miss Cindy, for Stephen and Lorraine. I pray for Brother Robert and Miss Tina. I pray that you'd encourage Miss Tina. I know, uh, Lord, she has also been struggling with the passing of her mom and dad. I pray that you'd encourage her tonight. Help Brother Robert. I pray also, Lord, for Brother Paul and Miss Sandra. I pray for their daughter uh, and also, Lord, for their son, Pat, and then, Lord, for their son Philip, who had this uh, hip replacement, oh God, that you continue to help Philip to recover. 
I pray also for his spiritual condition, Lord. I pray, Father, for uh, also for uh, Brother Nick and Miss Evelyn Burr. I pray, God, that you would uh, encourage them this evening. I pray for Miss Brenda Buchanan. I pray, Father, also for Brother Roel and Miss Bridget Sedillo and for Isaiah, for for Seth, Lord, I pray for Miss Maria tonight, that you would strengthen her. I pray for Caleb and Matt, oh God. Lord, for Bethany, I pray for Seth. Lord, our older children, I pray, Father, that you'd please protect their heart. Oh God, help them to be in thy precious will. Lord, please help them. Protect them from the snares of Satan. Protect them. Oh God, please, even now, I pray that you'd prepare the heart of their Spouse, Lord, as one day as they'll be married, I pray they'd marry in the will of God. That, Lord, that they would marry a saved individual that loves you. I pray, oh God, that you would use our children for your glory. I pray for Silas and for uh, for Amos and Elijah, God, that you'd save our boys when they come to that age of understanding. I pray for Miss Hannah, Lord, that you'd bless Miss Hannah, keep her heart tender to thee. Lord, I pray for Brother Billy and Miss Doris that you'd keep them safe as they travel the next couple of weeks. Also, Lord, for Brother David and Miss Becky Child. I pray for Brother Jason and Miss April Coker. I pray for Kenny Ballard, her dad, God, that you'd save him. I pray that you put him under Holy Ghost conviction this evening. Oh, Lord, may he be drawn with cords of love to thee. I pray, oh, Father, also for Dylan and for Destiny, for Anaya, uh, for Aiden and for Ashton and for JJ. I pray, Father, also for uh, for Brother Bill Dudley that you'd encourage and touch him tonight. I pray, Father, for the for the for the floggers, God, that you'd please, uh, Lord, encourage and give them grace. Oh God, I cannot even imagine. I pray, Father, that you'd please minister to them tonight, Brother Phil and Miss Kathy. I pray tonight also for Brother Dalton and Miss Casey that you'd bless their work there in uh, in Rockingham, North Carolina. Bless their day tomorrow. I pray, Father, for every preacher, every man of God that will stand and proclaim the truth. Oh, God, what a shortage we have in these days of true preachers, men of God. Lord, would you touch your men. I pray for Brother Eddie Davis and Brother Logan. I pray for the pastor there at Freedom. I pray... Lord, for Brother Stewart at Choice Hills. I pray for Brother Dean at Wildwest Heights. I pray for Brother Rudy Smith. and Lord, I pray for Brother South. I pray, uh, Lord, for uh, these uh, Brother Parker at uh, New Hope. And uh, Lord, Brother Griffith. I pray for Brother, uh, Lord, for Brother Gary Gwynn. I pray for Brother Sammy Scott, for Brother Sammy Kay. I pray, Lord, for these area preachers, oh God, these area churches, how we so desperately need you, God, to move in these days, how we need to turn unto thee, oh God, I pray for Brother Bailey, Chad Bailey there at Roanoke, I pray, Father, for Brother Andy Wells, Brother Larry Wells, I pray, uh, Lord, for Brother Ed Leak and Brother Joshua Foote, I pray for Brother Brian Taylor, I pray, God, that you'd encourage these preachers, Brother Brian McBride. Pray, Father, for uh, Lord, for uh, also Brother Josh Montgomery, Brother Alan Montgomery. God, would you touch these preachers? I pray, Father, also tonight for Brother Pete and Miss Gigi, the unspoken request that they have, and Abigail. I pray for Miss Geraldine, God, that you'd continue to touch her and strengthen her, give her a measure of health. I pray for Kenneth and Nicole. I pray, Father, for conviction on Drew and Shannon and their children. Lord, I pray for Brother Josh and Miss Michelle tonight. Also, Brother Bill and Miss Terry Godfrey. I pray for Brother Ray and Miss Dawn. Thank you for your protecting hand over them. Uh, Lord, last night, I pray that you now help them as they recuperate from this automobile wreck, God. I pray that you'd also bless them beyond measure. Uh, Lord, if they'll need another vehicle and other things, I just pray that you would provide that. Lord, I pray that there would be uh, little uh, headache and, 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 and trouble that, uh, Lord, that they would, everything would go smoothly as they transition there. I pray also, Lord, for, uh, for 
Brother Shannon and Miss Jennifer Harold tonight, and Brother Lewis and Miss Faye Hazelwood. Miss Chris, Lord, would you touch her as she's recovering from this cold? God, would you strengthen her? Miss Nellie Johnston, I pray for Brother Randy and Miss Becky. Where Brother Randy broke his ankle, I pray that you'd help that to heal up. I pray, Father, for Brother David and Miss Laurie Jones. I pray, Father, for Andrew, for Jim, that the Spirit of the Lord would deal with his heart tonight. Oh, Lord, we trust you, and we agree together, proclaiming the words of our Lord. God, would you, would you work in Andrew's heart tonight? I pray for Miss Lindsay. It should help her, guide her path, help her to stay in thy will. I pray for Brother Will and Miss Stacy. I pray for Caitlin. I pray, Lord, for Griffin. I pray for Miss Laura Mooney. I pray, Father, for Brother Bobby and Miss Betty. I pray, Father, for Conrad. Oh, God, would you touch him? I pray, Father, also for Colton. That young man needs the Lord. I pray, Father, for Todd. Oh, God, that you deal with his heart. I pray, Father, for Brother Leo and Miss Nadine, that you keep them safe as well as they travel. Lord, I pray for James and for Jonathan, for Jesse, Brother Johnny and Miss Cheryl McGahan. I pray also, Lord, for Brother Ed and Miss Martha McKinney. Also, Lord, for uh, Brother Charlie and Miss Tamara Massayer, for Avalon and for Chandler, for Bailey and Olivia, for, uh, for Daphne, for Beckham, Fiona, Brother Peter and Miss Helen. Pray, Father, also for Brother Rick and Miss Jenny Moody. God, that you'd encourage them tonight. I pray also for Miss Judy Padgett and her husband. I pray for Sienna, for Shyla tonight. Those two young ladies have heard the truth. I pray that you'd bring it back to their remembrance, that you'd deal with their heart tonight. Father, I pray for John and Brenda Painter. I pray for Brother John and Miss Sarah Pack and for Sam and for Marsha. I pray for Miss Mary Phillips tonight. I pray, Father, for Brother Shad and Miss Paula, for Luke and for Nate. I pray for Brother Tom and Miss Kate, for Ben and for John, for Hannah. Also for Brother Riley and Miss Dee Dee Roberts. I pray for Chance and for Ashley, God. Oh, how we'd love to see them restored to fellowship with you and with this local church. I pray for Brother Daniel and Miss Sarah. I pray, Father, for Brother Ben and Miss Joy, for Miles and for Melody. You save those little ones when they understand. Oh, God, I pray for Nate and for Amber, for Paisley and Olivia. Again, those little ones, that they would trust you. I pray also for Drew. I pray for Brother Kenny and Miss Sherry. God, would you continue to give them grace? Oh, God, minister to their heart tonight. Miss Hazel Scrubs, I pray for Miss Colleen. You'd encourage these ladies. I pray for Brother Robbie. Oh, God, would you touch Brother Robbie? Thank you. Thank you for what you've done already. We pray that you'd continue to touch him, strengthen him. Miss Michelle and Jacob and Star. I pray for Miss Evelyn Segui tonight. I pray, Father, for Brother Dallas Shepherd. I pray, Father, for Brother Waylon and for Brother Jonathan and Miss April. I pray for Joseph and for Rachel and, Lord, for Grace and Sarah. I pray, Father, for uh, Brother Robert and Miss Amanda Timmons and for Alyssa and for Wyatt. Pray, Father, for Brother Brandon and Miss Courtney Underwood, Brother Greg and Miss Mary Jane Watson, and for Caitlin. Then also, Lord, for Caleb and for Hannah Watson, their new little ones. I pray for Miss Martha Walters, God, that you touch and strengthen her tonight. Brother Dan and Miss Loretta, and for Joshua, thank you for protecting Joshua and bringing him home safe. We pray that you continue to work in his heart and his life. Pray, God, for all of our soldiers and troops tonight, their families. Thank you for this country. Lord, I pray for Miss Loretta's sister, Miss Brenda. Oh, God, that you'd give grace there. I pray for her husband's soul and for their children. Oh, God, would you draw them tonight, deal with their heart. I pray, Father, for Brother Donnie and Miss Vivian, that you would touch and strengthen them. I pray for Donovan and, uh, Lord, for for his children, for uh, Colt and for, uh, for Savannah and, and uh, Lord, for Ken Kinsley. And, and uh, Lord, would you work in their lives spiritually as well. I pray for Julie and for Wyatt and those girls. Uh, Lord, you'd work in their lives spiritually, oh God. They need you. I 
Pray for Brother Ronnie as well, that you'd strengthen him as he cares for Mr. Williams. I pray, God, that you'd give grace there. And then also, Lord, for Brother Jim and Miss Carol, that you would touch them and keep them safe as they travel. Lord, again, would you prepare our hearts, please, for tomorrow's service. May it not be about us, but, oh God, may it be all about thee. Would you feed us from thy word? Help our teachers as they prepare. Miss Shawnee, Miss Joy, I pray, Father, for Brother Daniel and Miss Sarah. I pray, God, for Brother Josh and Michelle and Brother Ben, the young adults. I pray uh, for Brother Childs here in the auditorium as he fills in for Brother Dan. I pray for Brother Jones. God, would you touch these teachers in the preaching of thy word, the song service. Oh, God, receive glory unto thyself. May the house be filled with the glory of God. Oh, Lord, even as it was in the days of Solomon, we know certainly, Lord, we're indwelt now with the Holy Spirit of God, that I pray you'd manifest forth your power and presence tomorrow. Save sinners, deal with hearts, help families, encourage, deal with those that are cold, deal with those that may be bitter, Deal with those that may be angry. Deal with those, Father, that may be jealous or covetous. And God, just help us to draw up near to Thee. Oh, Lord, we know that's the hope that our children have, is, is You. And for we as older people, Lord, to turn to Thee and to seek You with all of our heart, to seek Your face. We love You tonight. Thank You for being so good to us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, church family, for joining us tonight. Look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow in the house of the Lord. And uh, since we don't have a piano tonight, um, let's sing our chorus together as we finish out Got Any Rivers. Got any rivers you think are uncrossable? Got any mountains you can tunnel through? God specializes in things thought impossible. And he can do what no other power can do. Do you have any rivers you think are uncrossable? Got any mountains you can't tunnel through. God specializes in things thought impossible. And He can do what no other power can do. God bless your church family. We'll see you in the morning, Lord willing.